Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Sean Smith 1989 on one technique that we can use to create a cartoon style effect. Okay, so to illustrate this, I'm here in Maya and I just have a scene from the architectural visualization in Maya course. Um, let's take a look at how we can get this building to have kind of a cartoon or comic effect. Uh, one really quick way that we can use this would be to utilize the tune shaders within Maya. So to do this, I'm going to select my building here and go ahead and select the entire group for my building. If we go to tune in the rendering menu set, assign fill shader, let's go ahead and assign something like a shaded brightness three tone. Okay, so we can see the result that we get back here is uh, basically, it's applied a ramp shader to our geometry so we can come in and tweak the colors. But before we do that, let's just take a quick render. And we can see the sort of effect that we're getting here. Um, we're getting the very light color, the dark, uh, very, very stylized effect. So we could save this off and come in and adjust the color for our shader. Uh, say instead of the light color, maybe we want to do something like a light blue. You can see how that's affecting here in our viewport. Maybe uh, a little darker blue and then a much darker blue here at the at the back. We get something like that just by adjusting the colors. Um, so uh, using this shader you can get some really cool effects as you can see very very quickly but we can take this a step further so what we can do is with my object still selected if we come back up to tune instead of assigning a fill shader let's assign an outline what that'll do is that will basically create a paint effect stroke around our geometry you can kinda see it selected there it's a little difficult to see um, but it's in there so if we were to render this out you can kind of see the uh, the stroke in there. Well, let's save this out and let's make the stroke a little bit thicker so we can see a little bit easier. So if we open up our outline here, outliner, uh, we can see we have a new paint effects tune node, and that's going to be our stroke or the um, outline that was created from the tune shader. Let's go into the shape node and we can adjust a whole wide variety of attributes. It really depends on uh, what look we're going for. If we were to, uh, say, crank up the line width, um, in this particular case, I have a rather large scene. So the values that I put in uh, are going to be uh, scene dependent. So you may not need to crank it all the way up to something like 25 in order to be able to see it. Uh, but if we did that and rendered this back out, you can see that we're getting that nice outline around our building now. This is before and after we increase the line width. And we can always come in and continue to really, really customize things, maybe adjusting uh, the border width some, the modulation to help kind of give some variance to the width, um, to really help to customize or uh, fine tune whatever sort of look we may be going for. And what's really cool about these paint effects is that uh, since it does create the actual uh, paint effects for the outline, we can come in and convert that to a polygon if we wanted to render it in something like Metal Ray. So we could simply come in, uh, edit, or I'm sorry, modify, convert, and convert the paint effects to polygons. And that way, uh, when we did that, there would just be a regular polygon mesh that we could render out in mental ray or uh, whatever renderer we may need in order to get that effect in uh, the other renderers. Now the last thing I'd like to uh, mention here is if we come back under tune I mean look in the get tune example uh, basically this is going to open up our visor with a whole wide variety of examples of different styles and different uh, techniques uh, basically that were that ship with Maya using the tune shaders. So we can see when this opens up here, uh, we can see all these very wide uh, variety of objects, either half tones, 
uh, cross hatches, uh, pencil shading, streaked, watercolor effect, um, a whole wide variety of things and just examples. So we could really uh, take a, some of these and take a look at how they were made or customize them or um, really take our projects to the next level to really customize and get some really, really cool effects. Um, so really it kind of boils down to the settings that you want, what the project is that you're working on, what sort of style you want, because there's going to be a really wide range of options for the looks that you can get. If you want to learn some more about uh, Tune Shaders and some more tips and tricks for using the Tune Shader, check out the Rendering the Maya Tune course.